Okay, hi you guys. How's everybody doing? Aunt Jody here. Um, just to let you guys know, I got a new camera. Yeah. Uncle Justin stopped at Walmart to check out the electronics bargains. Yeah. The band is warming up in the stairwell. Can you hear that? It's really awful. The saxophones. Okay, so Uncle Justin likes... <sighs> That's really awful. Um, and I was in the band, but I played a trumpet, which I hated, and it was awful. But my dad was friends with the band director. And, uh, yeah, so anyway... Um, Uncle Justin went to Walmart. He likes electronics. Um, he actually used to work in the electronics section. And he knew I was looking at these little cameras because I have a graduation coming up. And my friends and I are going to Florida for a graduation trip. And I needed a camera for our trip. And for Disney World. And I'm so excited. And what I'm really hoping for is... See Darth Vader like rip the heads off those little dolls in It's a Small World. Yeah, I got stuck in there once because some idiot threw a quarter on the tracks. Yeah, and it, it was 1978. I was with my students on a class trip back when they still do class trips. I think that stopped not long after that. Catholic school kids. Anyway, um, here's my new camera, and of course it does video. I have a lot to learn about this camera still, but it does do video, and I've been taking some pictures. Um, what? I don't want to add a device. Okay, so anyway, I'm excited about this, and I was going to show you, I showed you the cup that Cousin CJ sent me, because I said something that he liked uh, in our chat form. I have no idea what I said. I say a lot of things. I just type. But somebody also sent me these nifty stampers that have the like and dislike. Yeah. yeah that was on my Amazon wish list. And this is pretty cool because they're self-inking and I can use them on student papers. But of course, I really don't want to use the dislike because I would crush some poor little snowflake's soul, right? Yeah, so we don't want to do that. Oh, here's something that I had my coffee cup on. Yeah, it's charming. There you go. And here's what I do if uh, you're acting like a something or other while I'm trying to work with a student. And I think you know what I mean. Me hace asquedosa. Yeah, figure that out. Um, it's not it's not a curse word, kids. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I'm being catty. This little dirty thing is the passport pouch and oh god that band is awful this is what i made my students wear when we went to europe do not travel to europe especially not to italy without one of these and so what you do is you put your passport your credit cards your your camera your cell phone make sure your cell phone does international so we're going to pretend, you know, we have all these things. So we've got all of this stuff. It goes in here, right? Now, Aunt Jody knows better than to wear the heirloom Art Deco diamond ring. It's worth like a ton of money. I can't tell you how much, but let's just say it's genuine. It's worth a lot. So is this one. This is the one, the solid platinum. I got it for $200 when the economy started tanking because they took a crap picture. Okay, I'm not going to wear this to Europe. None of this, this is all going back in the bank. So this is what you do. This is all going inside the shirts. Yeah, inside everything. 
Now I'm walking down the street in Europe and I just look like some poor schmo. So I have to dig in here when I need something. Big whoop. My kids never got robbed. I would yell passport check and they'd have to show me this pouch. I took kids on trips from 1990 until, or 1991 until 2002 and nobody got robbed. Other kids from other groups did. So anyway, this is a passport pouch. You can get these. You can also get them in the belts. Money belts suck because you're going to take your belt off every time you buy like a gelato or something. Okay, you don't want to do that. So get these things. You can put your passport in here. You can put keys, um, phone cards, and don't take credit cards to your get prepaid debit cards or whatever that can be replaced. I wore, we wore these literally even in our sleep because if the hotel caught fire, you could like pick them up and run. Okay, so that's my travel advice. Now the saxophone players are out in the hall making fun of me. That's fine. I don't mind. I got out of high school a long time ago, but they just think I'm nuts in here talking. So I'm going to go bark at them <laughs> like, like, like I'm crazy and scare them. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.